Hi everyone, Nicholas Devine, teaching professional out here at Maylands Peninsula Golf Course and of course, Lake Carinup Country Club. Today, we're gonna to start to look at impact or understand impact and understand the feeling and understanding what it looks like to get into an effective impact position. Nine times out of 10 when I see my students or students that I see on a regular basis, the one thing that they never seem to achieve is effective impact. Now there's a lot of factors that go into getting to effective impact, but if you can actually understand impact position, you will start to see some sort of improvement in the way that you move through the golf ball. Now to give you a rough idea, most of the students I see when they get to impact, if we're going to put it in numbers, are roughly 10 to 15 degrees closed with their shoulders and roughly square to the target with their hips. Now what that looks like from that kind of view, if I'm standing in this position, is that their shoulders are closed and their hips are pretty much returned to the position that they've addressed the golf ball. A lot of golfers actually think impact should be like what they originally start off with their golf swing. Impact, in fact, is when you get back to that position of impact, your hips should be 45 degrees open to the target, your shoulders should be 20 degrees open to the target, and if you get that position there, you're going to also get effective shaft lean and a club face that is square to the target. If you are close to the target, you have no way of getting through that golf ball, and I can guarantee you nine times out of 10, you'll get a lot of head rotation, a lot of flip, and you're gonna hit a lot of shots that either hook or block. Now, 99% of the people I teach do that shot. So, what can you do to fix that problem? And this is a drill that I give to most of my students to understand impact position, understand what it looks like, and understand what it feels like. And it does involve you hitting some golf shots, but sometimes the best practice you can do is not hitting a golf ball at all. So let's have a quick look at this drill. What I want you to do, okay, is get in front of a, your sliding door at home, a mirror, a window where you can actually see your body. And I want you to set up at a dress position. Now from there, what I want you to do is keep your head fairly central. I don't wanna see you pushing off in any direction backwards or forwards. You're gonna try and keep your head nice and central. And from that position, what I want you to do is rotate your hips 45 degrees open, okay? If this is square, that's 45 degrees open. Now you've kept your shoulders nice square, what I want you to do then is try and open your shoulders 20 degrees open as well. And what you'll see straight away is my shaft went from relatively straight to having that little bit of shaft lean that everyone keeps talking about. But now my club face is nice and square. Now that is what I call effective impact position. You'll also notice that I've got a little bit of flexion through my right hip there, and my right arm is bent. It's not extended. You can actually see that my right arm is bent in that position. Now, that is effective impact. From there, you can swing through and hit your golf shots, and you should start to get control of the one important facet of your golf club that controls direction, and that's club face. Now, the drill now that you've discovered that position and you've seen that position, now I want you to go down to the golf course and after doing that for some time, and I mean doing it for some time, do it five minutes every day of the week in front of the window at home. The more that you practice something, the quicker you're gonna make that change. Then from there, go out to the golf course and grab some golf balls, put them down. Now, it requires discipline to change something in golf. Now that you've got your golf ball in front of you, what I want you to do now is address the golf ball, just like you normally do, find that feeling or sensation of effective impact, and from that position, I want you then to swing back with all body rotation, and then swing back through that impact position that you just created. And it should look something like this. Now that came out pretty mint. It's not gonna be all and end all with regards to the golf swing, but if you can start to understand impact and do the small things right, 
practice it at home without a golf ball, then come to the golf course and understand the visual that you saw and put it into a feeling and sensation and understand that you need to swing through that position, you're gonna start to see that you're gonna get control of that club head and hit a lot straighter shots. Here we go again, one more time. Take your setup, find impact position, then from there, simply swing back, and you'll notice here when I swing back, I've turned my hips and I've turned my shoulders. Now the club doesn't look like it's in a good position, and I know that, we're not worrying about that. What we're worrying about is trying to get ourselves back into that position that we started in to strike the golf ball. So here we go again, set up, impact position, rotate everything back, rotate through the ball. Now, like I said, you're not always gonna hit good shots, but it's not about hitting good shots when you're trying to make a change. It's about understanding what you need to do and putting that to practice and making that change you've always wanted to change. Well, there you go. Impact drill from me. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section. If you have anything that you want help with, leave a comment or send me a video. My email address is down the bottom in the link section. Send me a video of your swing if you want me to have a look and put something out that you wanna see. But I can guarantee you if you practice that impact drill, you'll start to see that you're going to prove that ball striking. And then, like I said, like, subscribe, share the video, and we'll see you next time on ND Golf.